Okay class, today we're in section 4.6 extension, correlation and causation. Section 4.6 extension, correlation and causation. Key vocabulary, correlation. Key vocabulary, correlation. Your goal for this lesson, understand the difference between causation and correlation. Understand the difference between causation and correlation. You have seen that paired data have a strong positive correlation if the correlation coefficient r is close to 1 and a strong negative correlation if r is close to negative 1. But a strong correlation does not necessarily imply cause and effect or causation between the paired variables. Once again, but a strong correlation does not necessarily imply cause and effect or causation between the paired variables. Example 1. Analyze a set of data. Computers. The table shows the number in millions of music album downloads and the number in millions of individual federal income tax returns filed electronically each year from 2004 to 2008. Analyze the data in terms of correlation and causation. So you see they give us the year 2004 through 2008. Album downloads in millions is the variable X. Electronic tax returns in millions is denoted by Y. So, solution. First find the correlation coefficient. Because R is close to 1, if you look over here at the graphing calculator, R is the last value right here. And that value is 0.987. And that's very, very close to 1. Now, since we do not have graphing calculators, for your problems that you're going to be doing today, I'm going to give you the R values. Because R is close to 1, there is a strong positive correlation. However, an increase in album downloads does not cause an increase in electronic tax returns. These increases are both a result of other factors, such as advances in technology and increased computer usage. Okay, for exercise number one, the correlation coefficient is R is equal to 0 0.927. That's for number one. For practice problem number two, the correlation coefficient R is equal to a negative 0 0.970. Okay, now given that information, you should be able to uh, work problems one and two in terms of correlation and causation. Now, in problem number three, they're not asking you to find the correlation coefficient, but to assume what that would be and then explain correlation and causation. And that concludes today's lesson.